All right, folks, we're out again for another night. And just at the start here, we've come across an oldie but a goodie. This is our Bamboo Pit Viper opener. And the Bamboo Pit Vipers in this area tend to be a little bit more yellowish in color, which is uh, always kind of interesting. Not pure yellow, this is actually still quite green, but um, under this lighting, it's gonna look much more yellow than what we normally see. Uh, either way, uh, this is one of our most common encounter so I won't spend too much time on it but good to start off the night with so we'll let we'll let this one hang out here and find a meal and go off and see if we can't find something else All right, folks, we've got the stuff of nightmares. This is a giant centipede feeding on a Chinese cockroach. Pretty intense stuff. My goodness, <laughs> this centipede doesn't like the uh, video attention. He's trying to figure out where to go. goes all right stuff of nightmares all right folks we've got our next snake of the evening and it's been quite a while so pretty happy that we came up with anything actually we were already on the walk out and we managed to find this greater green which has been featured on a number of our more recent videos to quite a common snake here in Hong Kong uh, but still a really nice snake to encounter when we're out and about and this one is looking for a place to roost for the night so we're not gonna bug it for too long maybe grab a few quick shots because it's quite pretty and then we'll go ahead and let it go but he's a shy guy Trying to hide his face under the leaves. See if I can get you a little bit of a close-up there. And there they are. Hong Kong's non-venomous green snake. All right, we're almost out, so I don't expect to find much more, but we'll pop back on if we do. All right, folks. As we were shooting that greater green, we looked up and right in front of us was this little bamboo viper. So that's bamboo number two and snake number three for the night on what was a really, really slow night, but coming to a slightly stronger close. So this is another really small one. It looks like a, a maybe juvenile female. I can't really tell. Let's see if we can see the white on the lip. Hard to tell. I would say a juvenile female but pretty standard looking bamboo viper. You can see a little bit of the orange tail there. And this is just a little one looking for a meal. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go about her business, but pretty cool that we found that just as we were filming the greater green. All right, folks, we're out for another night and we have another oldie but a goodie. This is a redneck keelback we've had these on the vlog before and this is a mature specimen and I think the last one we had was a pretty vibrantly cover uh, colored juvenile so I would say this is a good representation of what they can look like when they get older you can see their colors have faded out quite a bit um, there's not as much checkered marking on the bodies you can have adults that retain that uh, but the heads all go this olive green color as opposed to the gray that they have when they're juveniles and the yellow collar pretty much fades away entirely. So this is a, a pretty good example of a mature one. And as you may remember, for the loyal viewers, that this is Hong Kong's only venomous and poisonous snake. So the poison is actually secreted through the glands on the back of the neck that run right down that section. But they're able to secrete poison through the glands on their necks. Uh, again, we've talked about this quite a bit, so those who've been watching for a while will know. 
but they're actually a, a really interesting species of snake here and I'm, I'm happy to say they're actually quite common as well. So pretty cool find to start the night, but we're going to keep at it and see if we can find some more cool stuff. All right, folks, we've got the next snake of the night and it's a beautiful brown Chinese cobra. This one is a decent size. For those who watch the vlog regularly, you may have seen the golden cobra we found uh, several episodes ago. This is about probably half the size of that, so I would say maybe about a meter. And it's a pretty chunky one though. And he's on the move right now. Let's see if I can get a better view of its head here. I don't think we'll get it to hood up for us, but it's actually quite a good looking cobra. Very healthy looking. And yeah, this is uh, one of Hong Kong's more venomous snakes actually. They have a neurotoxic venom, but I think there's some other components as well. And I've heard that some of the bacteria cultures that live in their mouth can actually be quite problematic as part of bite treatment. So they're actually more toxic than king cobras, drop for drop, but they obviously don't deliver anywhere near the same venom load that a king cobra does. So, but you can see on this guy, he's got a very robust head uh, with pretty big venom glands. So definitely not one that we'd want to get bit by. Uh, and there are plenty of reports of these actually doing a little bit of spitting as well. I don't think anywhere quite as intense as the true spitting cobras, but something to be careful of when you're filming them like this. A pretty cool find. It's early in the night. Hopefully we've got some more in store but we'll go ahead and let this one go about its business. <laughs> Just after a little bit, oh, there you can see the hood, beautiful markings on this one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let this one get about its business and maybe find a nice place to hide or a meal for itself tonight. We'll check back in if we find anything else. All right, folks, we've got our next snake of the night and it might make a move, so I might have to jump in and grab it here, but this is a common wolf snake. We've seen lots of these on the vlog before, so I won't spend too much time, but one of Hong Kong's more common species, non-venomous, as you can see by me holding it, but quite willing to bite. Um, got me a few times already. And we just found him as we were walking down to another walk. So we're going to go ahead and let him go here. But thought we'd stop and show you guys. We'll pop back on with the next one. All right, folks. Next snake of the night, another Chinese cobra. This one's pretty active. Very similar coloration to the last one. It's also a uh, brown color. And... He's on the hunt and pretty active, so we're just going to do this quick video. Um, but decent length snake. I'm going to move. And yeah, pretty cool find. Pretty busy this evening. We actually also have a, a couple other snakes that we just found um, that are slow movers that I'll be able to show you in just a few seconds. But pretty cool to see this Chinese cobra out and about. All right, let's uh, let this guy get on his way and then we'll take a look at some of these other snakes. All right, folks, next snake of the night. Another oldie but a goodie. This is the white spotted slug snake. I've seen lots of these on the video before, so we won't get too deep into it, but they're a snail and slug eating specialist. And this is one of two species from this genus. The other's quite rare and only found in specific locations. That's the Chinese slug snake, but these guys are quite common. One of the more common snakes you'll find when you're out and about. So pretty happy to see it regardless. And we're gonna go ahead and let this guy be on his way and keep a move on. But we've got one more other small snake we found that I'll take out and show you here as well. Okay, our next little snake is this redneck keelback, but he's not gonna hang out too long. This is a tiny little juvenile, and off he goes. 
It's all right, we saw one in the last vlog, so we'll let that one go. Okay, everyone. We don't have a snake here, but we've got some caterpillars that are trying to look like snakes. And I can show you this one in the back here especially. If you look close, kind of like this, it looks a bit like a snake head with snake eyes. Now, I don't know much about the species or genus or anything like that. I'm sure there's plenty of other people watching that are a little bit better at that than me, but see these from time to time as we're walking out and about, and it's a pretty cool mimic, actually. You can see here there's a number of false eye spots on the head. This caterpillar has its head out a little bit more, not as defensive, whereas the other one, the eyes are pretty prominent. So we'll take a few pictures of these guys, and then we'll get back to walking, see if we can't find some more genuine snakes. All right, folks, we've got another white spotted slug snake. Second one for the night. Pretty cool find, but we are gonna let him go and keep looking. <laughs> 